Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are starting a brand new playthrough series for a brand new horror game called Madison. And this was actually a game that I played years and years ago, I think about five or six years ago, in the infancy of this channel, as the developers released a proof of concept demo, where you basically had this Polaroid camera and you snuck around this old house and took pictures of ghosts to sort of reveal their location, solve puzzles, and basically escape anything trying to get you. It was really scary, the visuals were really good, and I've been long anticipating the full release, which is actually coming out this week. The developers very kindly gave me an early code a few days ahead of release, so we're going to be playing through this game today, and if you guys like it, we'll turn it into a full series. So this is Madison, the creepy ghost horror game where we take pictures with our Polaroid camera. Let's see what it's all about, and dive right into the story. New game, I guess normal to begin with. We get visual hints, photography zones, normal enemies, infinite instant photos, and an autosave. That sounds good to me, so let's jump into normal, and let's do this. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, looks like we're waking oh up somewhere. God. In a room with very flashy lights. Someone's outside the door though already. That's not good. Okay, we can move. We've got a TV. Uh, we got a camera anywhere. Show me that. Can we hide in here? God, Let's have a look. That. We can open this. We can open this. How do we open? Ah, oh, you have to pull it towards you. Okay, you open with a mouse, you pull it towards you. Uh, you don't have any items to use. We need to get through these boards, guys. Someone's trying to come in. He sounds angry. He doesn't know what's going on. Neither do I. We're gonna get out of this room somehow. Oh, we can turn the TV off. Oh, look, there's something over here. What's this? I have to find it. We need a handle for this, okay. Can we open this drawer? We got a letter, a note. Let's have a look, from Cousin Romero, or no, Cousin Romeo. Um, okay, cool. To John and Maxwell and family, so we must be John Maxwell. It's really dark in here without the light of the TV. So let's turn the TV back on. Oh, what's this? We got some items on the ground. We got something here, can I crouch? Oh, it's the doorknob. Look, we got the doorknob. Okay, good. So we got that, and then what's this? We got something on the ground here. Can we open it? I just grabbed it. I don't know what that was. Inventory is tab. Let's have a look. Examine. Oh, it's just like Resident Evil. Can we open this now? Oh, that says lucre on the bottom. Don't know if we can do anything with that. Let's go to our other item. We've got this doorknob. Let's go and use the doorknob on the little hatch right here. Use. There we go. We've now done the first puzzle. Oh, and look, we've got an item, a bloody hammer. So can we take that? Yep. Now hopefully we can get through those boards, those pesky boards. We're leaving you behind, whoever you are. I don't know who you are. I don't want to know. Let's keep going. Use the hammer. Man, the puzzles are already kind of like, I don't want to say tricky. It's not tricky, but you know, they're already, um, getting me to not think. My son. You are not my son. I'm That's fine. I don't want to be your son, man. Let's keep going. Right. Can we go through now? Yes, we can. Let's crawl through the boards. Come on. Maybe I can get out through Grandpa's house. He was saying the priest is right. I don't know if there's, like, been some exorcism. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. I gotta get out of here. I don't think we can go back that way, right? The only way is forward into the darkness. This isn't good. Okay, let's open the door. I can't get used to this, like, way of opening doors. We have to, like, pull it towards you with a mouse. I'd prefer it if it was just one button to open the door. Maybe we'll have to sneak later. Look, some pictures here. Hmm, interesting. What's this lock all about? I think we need a special kind of key for that lock. It's like a triangular key. So let's, um... Keep exploring. I was just checking out a window there in case something was looking at us. I need to find a way out. That's locked. Before Dad notices I'm here. Oh, wait. Oh my God, what is that? It's like, um, it sounds like an alarm clock and it's got a sheet over it. It's very strange. Wasn't there a door here? Was there a door here before? I don't know if there was. I guess he would know it's his house, right? What's this? We've got lots and lots of Polaroid pictures. We've got a letter there. We can't interact with that. We've got a clock. I don't think we can do anything yet. We need an item for this clock face. Like a dial, maybe? Do I go up to the clock? 
Can I unsheave it? Yeah, we can unsheave the clock. All right, it's gonna strike midnight. What happens then? Anything? No. Okay, that was anticlimactic. We still can't go back that way. I wonder if this has changed anything. Oh, it's opened a door. <gasps> what is that? We've got like a present. Man, look at this. Look at this picture over here. It's this old dude with a Polaroid camera. That is creepy. Is that like our grandfather or something? Oh, I don't like that sound. I'm just going to open the present. Wait, the chair's turned. My... My birthday present? Yeah, so we're Luca. How did it get here? Um, it's from mom and dad. We love you. And it says Luca, 16th birthday. So let's open it. Oh, we got a camera. Nice. There we go, guys. We just opened the present. We got a camera. I just realized how you open stuff. So let me examine this again. And see if I can open it. Oh, we can look. We opened the box and we've actually got some pictures in there. They look like um, limbs or something. Like severed limbs. Okay, so that came from here. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so to use the camera, we hold this and then we shoot with the other mouse button. Interesting. Oh, what the heck? I'm taking a picture of that. All right, now we shake the picture. Oh, we shake the picture, that's cool. And then we get to see what's on the uh, image. All right, now we zoom in. All right, that looks pretty okay. That looks pretty ordinary. I'm gonna interact with this. Don't know if that was a good idea. That must be broken. That's broken, okay. Let's take a picture of this old guy. You know, I kind of want to know what this is all about. In fact, there's actually a picture here we can check out. Grandpa was just like Dad. Oh, he is our grandpa then. Albert Maxwell, 1968. So that's this guy. So let's see if we can take a picture of him again. Oh. Okay, that's revealed something now. Now we can look through the hole in the wall. It's a serial killer up there though, guys. Can you see that? And we've got a TV there. Some family portraits. Interesting. Keep worrying, I'm going to turn around. There's going to be something like... Attacking me, what is that? A news report. Yeah, we found it. We've got the instant camera now. Damn, okay, so that's a bit of a backstory, guys. It seems like this camera was involved in the murders, like, it was used to take pictures of the murder vi victims. We actually already saw that when we opened the tin. So now what do we do with this? Don't know if we can do anything with that, per se. We've also got a code on the door here. So we need to figure out what the code is. I'm guessing we use the camera to do that. So let's have a look around this room and see if we can figure it out. Could it be 1968, I wonder? That's the year of like Albert's birth. So it could be 1968. Let's try that. We want a six and then we want an eight. If this works, we are a genius. Hey, has it worked? I don't know. I don't think that worked, guys. It's not 1968. Right here, we've got the camera again. Let's see if we can take a picture of the chair. Oh! What? Okay, I'm not sure we're going to want to see what's on this picture, guys. But here we go. Please don't have a person on it. Alright, what does that say? It doesn't seem like there's anything on that picture, it's just the chair, but the chair has moved out of the circle, I guess. The door's opened again. We can head back through the door now. Oh, man, I'm gonna raise our camera up. I don't see anything, this is creepy. Right, can we see anything now? I just took a picture down the hallway. Oh! 
What the heck? The clock's moved forward. Screw you, clock. I'm taking a picture. The clock looks pretty normal. Do we take the sheet off again? Oh, okay, the clock is gone. Man, I'm kind of nervous. We've still got this locked door here. Oh, I think we have to hang the portrait here. There's a space for it. I should find a nail or something to hang it with. Yeah, we need to use the portrait of Grandpa here, but we need to find a nail first, he says. Okay, so we're on a mission to find a nail. And the clock's moved back again now. That's very strange. The bottom drawer's open. Ooh, what's this? We got a key, guys. Study. A key for the study. Okay, nice. So where is the study? Ooh, look, there's a nail on the clock now. Nice. Okay, so we've got the nail. Okay. Get in the camera ready. Get in the camera ready. No one's there. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. So we use the nail. There we go. Hammer it in with a very weird bloody hammer. And then we put the photo of Grandfather up, or the portrait of Grandfather, I should say. Hang out on the wall. There you go, Grandfather. You're hung up high in a place of uh, pride. Okay, now, if I take a picture of the, of the uh, painting hanging here, does it do anything? Yep. Just as I suspected. Oh, the door's appeared. Nice. Is this the door to the study? <gasps> He's pointing, guys. Look at that. He's actually pointing at the study. But we've got the key, I think, for this door. So we'll use that. Hey, we're solving puzzles left, right, and center here. Open. Nice. Progress has been made, and we're in the weird TV what room now. What the hell now. has Dad been doing here? I don't think we want to know that, Luca. Keep away from children. Let's interact. Hey, we got another key. This one's got a square symbol on it. Can't turn that on. Oh, look. Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? What is going on? We've got lots of um, sort of lore here from the newspapers. 43 year old Satanist woman killed her own family during a witchcraft ceremony. Madison Hale dumped her victim's bodies inside a well in her basement. Serial killer was fatally shot in the stomach. So Madison, Madison Hale, she is obviously the titular character of the game. She was a witch who killed her family during a ceremony by the look of it. We just heard that on the news report. Dreadful pictures of the victim's bodies were found in Hale's basement. It says Officer Russell testifies. As informed by the police department, the officer that ended Madison's life testifies that before dying, the serial killer begged for her instant camera. The 43 year old woman is suspected to have taken pictures of her victims once mutilated. St. Jupiter's Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. After a long history of incidents, St. Jupiter's Cathedral is all the rage once again, upon confirmation that it will hold a public wake in honour of the soul of a 43 year old serial killer, Madison Hale, who murdered a total of four people last month. The wake will be public and free and according to the priest's sayings, they will seek to illuminate Madison's soul with divine light, allowing her to peer into the gates of heaven. Don't know if that was a good idea based on what we're seeing so far. There we go guys, a little bit of background history on uh, this Madison woman that the game's named after. I'll just let you guys read this as well if you want, you can read through that, it's just on screen now. I'm not gonna read through everything right now, but you can see some more information on Madison there. Let's head through the door. Oh, do we want to take a picture of this maybe? Yeah, that did something. I don't know what it did, but it made the screen shake. Oh, we've got numbers now, look. Numbers for the safe by the look of it. I don't know what those numbers are. I can only make out the two properly. What's in this room? Ooh, a safe. We got a cassette here as well. An old acoustic cassette. Can we use that? It's got number one on it. I'll take it for now. Now, I think we had a key spare, right? This one, it's got a J on it. 
That seems to have opened it. Hey. Oh, we can store stuff in here. Or take stuff. Luca's notebook, take. My notebook? So dad's the one who took it away from me. And we can store stuff. Do we are ah, because we have limited inventory space. So it's kind of like Resident Evil with item boxes. So maybe if we store the sun box, because we don't really need that currently. Store the tape for now. There, that'll be good, that'll be good. See if there's anything in these drawers. Ooh, what's this? Priest Thomas? Okay, so this is John. I hope you find this useful. Please be careful. Remember what we talked about. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Priest Thomas. I know tapes are old, but I still struggle with computers. Okay, so he's left us tapes to listen to. Oh! Right. Is this a new door? I don't remember this being here. I think it is. The house is opening up slowly but surely. I haven't been here since he died. So this is Grandpa's house. Man, how am I going to search this whole place? Oh! Something for the tape. Okay, I'm going to have to go and get the tape again, guys. We've got a tape player. Bear with me while I make a quick edit. Okay, we've got the tape. Let's play it in here. Oh, fuck. Wait, what happened? The storm must have taken up the power. Oh, no. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Great. We've got to go down to the basement. It has no signal. The phone's out. We can't even play the tape now. Are you kidding me? All right, let's go. What's this a picture of? Grandma and Grandpa's room. Can't go into that. Can I take a picture? Nothing happens. Okay, let's keep going. What's in here? Is this the basement through here? I don't know. I can't even see. No, that's just a bathroom. Ugh, it smells awful. We just took the a picture. Let's hope there's no ghosts in here. <gasps> Ooh. Is the mirror a picture? Let's have a look. Blue... Knees? <laughs> Blue knees is real. What does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Go this is actually kind of creeping me out. I'm not going to lie. Blue knees is real. What the heck is that? It's like a saint. Is that something we've got to interact with? Hmm. I don't think so. There's no point searching the house yet. I need to go into the basement. Because I can't see anything. What's this? Grandpa dedicated his whole life to clock making. Ah, look, we've got a time on there, guys. It's actually 9, uh, 9 p.m. or 9 a.m. Could be either. So maybe we need to remember that. That might be the time we need to remember to put into the clock uh, that was kind of moving about in the hallway. So we'll just keep that, you know, in, in mind for now. I gotta find a way to open this door if I want to get out of this house. All right, so that's our exit. We need to find a way down to the basement first. Um, before I explore the rest of the house because it's too dark, I'm going to go down into the basement as we were previously instructed. Uh, what's this? Right. Can we use it? I guess we just turn these on. Oh, it's like a puzzle. We've got to decide which ones go down and which ones go up. Okay, so down, down, up, down. Up. Down. Hey! I think we solved it. And then what do we do with this? Is this the generator? Yeah, nice. We got lights. Can we go into the basement? Do we want to go into the basement? I'm not sure that we do. What's this? Oh, I think this is what we wanted for the clock, maybe. Jupiter Mars. I'll take that. Can we... Oh, well, we can go through here. Man, I didn't think we were going to be able to. I was kind of hoping we couldn't. We actually can squeeze through this little crawl space. It's kind of nerve-wracking right now. Um, bag of rubbish. Nothing down there. Good. Just how we like it. No signs of uh, paranormal life. Discard that. Okay, we can't get in here yet. We need to find a, uh, a key for this door. So we're going to head back to the main house. 
Now, we could explore the rest of the house. Before we do that, I'm actually gonna sort of take it one room at a time. We'll head back here and we'll play the tape. In the tape player, finally. Here we go. From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a demon what? attaches itself to a human, Demons? it becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until it devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. That doesn't sound good, Even guys. Will the demon leave of its own accord? Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, so dad thinks... even violent. This is the result possessed? of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them I can't malleable, contact this compliant. Person. This is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects, cockroaches in particular. My advice, steer clear of the insects. Well, that was a lot to take in, and I don't know why he was holding the tape in his hand There's as it was just like spinning. No way. I <laughs> it was very can't weird. Be possessed. There must be a mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Uh, 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 oh, God. that's My nasty. Head. What's happening? Is he getting a hallucination? A, door. a red door? Uh, What's happening? What's happening to me? This isn't good. Is this what that man was talking about? It can't be happening to me. Okay, calm down, man. Calm down. Ah, oh, so this loops all the way round, guys. Look. We can open the notebook. Ah! Could it be the basement door? So this kind of gives us hints as to where to go. He jots stuff down in his notebook. That's cool. So if we actually go and have a look at Luca's notebook now, let's see what information we can find from his notebook. I don't remember drawing any of these. Am I going insane? Okay, so this is Dad's head, Mom's arm, Sister's leg. So is he like taking body parts from his family? Maybe we need to find these things. I hope not. I don't know. That's Luca's notebook anyway, guys. So we got a long sort of explanation there as to kind of like what's going on. Hopefully you guys could take that in. I was just letting you listen to it. Um, we're now all a bit sort of stumbly aroundy. Oh, look, we've got someone we can look. What's that? It's like a ticking sound. That's weird. I can hear a ticking sound, but I can't actually do anything there. What if we look through a smaller gap? I'm not sure what we need to do there. Maybe there's an entrance way around here. Yeah, look. We've actually got a clock here. Which is locked. We need to find a way to... Maybe by setting the big clock, we can get into this room if we set it to the same time, which would be... Nearly half past twelve? 
I think. I'm not sure. We'll have to keep exploring what's in here. He said about cockroaches being weird. Look, there's a cockroach down there. We want to avoid those, apparently. What's this? Oh, combination. It's been scribbled out, though. Something right, eight left. Man, this is going to be very puzzle heavy, this game, I can tell. Chains? Maybe I can break them with something. Why is a toilet seat chained up? Like, that's weird. What if someone needs a toilet really badly? Can we break it with a hammer? No, we need something to cut these chains so we can use the toilet. <laughs> Hopefully we don't need it too badly, eh guys? Blue needs is real, we already read that. Oh, so this loops around as well. It's very odd for a toilet to have two doors in it, I'll say that much. But we won't question it, let's just keep going. Ooh, what's this? We've got a picture in this cupboard. Let's have a look. It was so nice having both houses connected. We were able to have breakfast with Grandpa every morning. Grandpa seems a bit creepy, I'm not sure about Grandpa. What's this? Ooh! We got a triangular key, it was here all the, the whole time. Okay, we need that. Let's head back, we know what to do with this key now. We need to go through the door, I think, in the main hall out here. Alright, let's see if this works. Hey, Progress! Oh, it's still locked. We need a different key for the bottom part. So we've unlocked the top of the door. Now we just need to figure out the location of the key for the bottom part. We need to find a red door as well. I don't know where we find that. Guys, maybe I should head back down to the basement again. Not that I like being down here, but... You know, we need to look for something. We're missing something somewhere. Here's the red door. It's locked. Can we take a picture of red door? Yep, we can indeed. What has that done though? That definitely did something. Oh, it's got caution, do not enter, place. So what's that actually done then? This was obviously the scene of a crime. Oh, we can go through it now. Wow, okay. What? What is this place? This is cool. This is impossible. What's, what's wrong with me? This is very strange. We need a combination here. Oh, this is maybe what the combination was for on the uh, note we picked up earlier. I think it said like eight left, four right or something. Let's try it. Those symbols. I've seen them before. We saw them on that picture upstairs that we took, guys. If you remember. There was that like, on the wall there was like a chalk drawing or something. We took the picture of it. Wait, do we have our picture to hand? These are all the pictures I've taken, guys. There's loads. I can probably discard a fair few of these. Let's uh, discard this one. Let's discard this one. This is the one I wanted. But we're going to discard all the ones that we don't actually need. <laughs> There's a lot. Okay, so here we go. We've got three symbols here, as you can see. I don't know if we need to put in all three of these symbols to open up the sort of middle section here. So let's have a look. How many locks do we have on this thing? It looks like a crime scene. Yeah, we do have three locks as well. So, let's look at our picture once again. What was the top lock? Top lock says two. So let's see if we can put in a two here. It's very slow scrolling through all these. Okay, a two. And then, the two along the bottom, we need one that looks like a four and one that looks like a cocktail glass. So I'm going to remember them. So this one is the one that looks like a four, which is this one. And this one is the cocktail glass one. So where is the cocktail glass? It's not a cocktail glass, of course, it's this symbol. It's worked though. Something definitely happened then. Let's take a picture of it. Oh, okay, that works. Wow. We have got an exit, guys. We have got an exit. 
we've got a horrible looking symbol on there, something witchy, I think something very witchy. Let's head down. Into the depths. What are we gonna find when we head down? This is pretty creepy right now. I wonder if that like weird um ghost will be down here. Was that ghost called Blue Knees or something? God oh, the smell the water is disgusting. I just hope that Blue Knees thing isn't down here. So it's like we're in some kind of like well now. I don't see anything. I'm just gonna keep walking around. We've got our camera should we need it. Anything jumps at us. We take a picture. What's this? Ooh. This box is extremely rusty. Don't worry about the rust. I won't be able to open it easily. So we can't just open this. What's it say on it? Oh, we've got some numbers on the bottom though. Um, I think I've got them upside down. Wait, let me. It's really hard to rotate this. One, two, three, four. Oh, Madison. One, two, three, four. Maybe that could be the combination for the safe upstairs? I'm not sure. That's all boarded up though now. I don't like that. Is there anything else in deeper into this place? Nope. We're getting out of here then, guys. There's nothing else to see here. We'll find a way to prise that thing open upstairs. Now we just need to find a way out of here. What's this? Officer Russell? Was this Officer Russell's radio? Huh. Can we use it? Do we have to like find the signal? Oh, it's bleeping faster now. We're getting warmer. Getting colder. Very warm. It's really flickering now. Oh. <laughs> Something's down here. What the heck? Oh no. We're in the crime scene. We're stuck in the middle of it. Okay. Everybody stay calm. We'll be fine. Do we have to keep moving till we find the signal? We've got something. Ooh. I think we found something, guys. Right here. Just need to stabilize it. Do we take a picture now? Oh, yes. Oh, God. Yeah, that's what we needed to do. Okay, I wondered what was happening then. I couldn't, like, work out what we needed to do next. We needed to take the picture, and there's something there. And it looks very bloody. What the heck? It's not actually materializing. All right, now we've got to find another place to take a picture. Like here, maybe? Yeah, I think we've got to take the picture again. Oh, okay. He does not like this, whatever this entity is. It could be Madison, to be fair. But I feel like it might be that Blue Knees thing that's been referenced before. It's still not coming out either. Oh! Okay. Do we take another picture? Nothing there. Officer Russell here. June 17th, 1987, 5.27am. I am now entering Madison Hill's basement. Hill? 1987? I can see there's a sort of well in, in the center of the room. <sighs> Looks like it's open. I'm gonna investigate further, see what's on the other side of this. We're hearing the backstory of this officer. <coughs> this is kind of cool. God. There's a, a horrendous smell coming from down here. Oh God. I almost can't take it. So I can't see a goddamn thing down here. This has been like decomposing bodies maybe down here. Oh! Shit. Oh yeah, look! I think I found the missing individuals. Uh, Feet uh, they, and hands. They, um, they're, they're all mutilated. Legs, arms, they're, they're just everywhere. I can't see Madison. I don't think she's here. Uh, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, we should get out of here too. I think that's a good suggestion. But how? What was that? I, uh, I think I'm not alone. There's definitely someone here. 
This isn't good, guys. I feel like the story of this officer is going to play into our story right now. Madison? Is, is that you? She's going to come out. I'm, I'm ready for the jump scare. It's not going to get me. Police! Show yourself! That's in order! She's a bit dumb for this police officer, isn't she? Okay! Wow! Everything's floating now. All the arms and legs. Stand back! Put That's your weird. hands up where I can see them! Where is she? I don't like, guys, I do not like this. Where is she? She's gonna jump scare us, I know it. Oh. I think she's done for, guys. And so are we if we don't get out of here quick. Let us out. Let us out. Oh, we got to take more pictures. Can we take another picture here? Yep. Oh, she jumped us. I knew she would. I was ready for it. This cannot be real. So, so this fucking camera belong to that woman. Why is this happening to me? I gotta get the hell out of- Oh no. She's down here. It's okay, it's okay. The lights have stopped flickering, guys. Oh! Okay, I thought that meant everything was fine. It obviously doesn't. Are we back in the house? Actually, I don't know if we are. I hope we are. Where am I? Nope. What is this? This must be the hallucinations that, that the guy was talking about. Is it possible that she's still alive? It's very possible. I think that's a, a given, isn't it, at this point? Or right, which door do we take? Maybe we should actually, like, take pictures of these doors to figure out which one we go through? Like, are they all the same? Let's have a look. Let's have a look if anything happens when we take a picture of these doors. No, I guess we just go through one and just hope for the best. I've got the camera, guys. Look. We we don't really have any like indication of where to go. It's just a void. I'm going to open all of the doors. I've taken pictures of all of the doors. Nothing happened, guys. Like, I literally looked at every door. There was no markings on any of them. So I'm going to open every single one until something, like, changes, basically. Maybe that's what we have to do instead, right? Just open every door and see what's... Oh! Yep, something's definitely changed now. They've all locked. Right. The witch did not like us doing that, guys. The witch did not like us doing that. Now maybe we take the pictures, right? And figure out which door we need to uh, to go through. Guys, I think I've worked it out. Look, we don't need to take pictures. There's cockroaches coming out from this door. This is the door we need to go through. Maybe just take a picture of this one. Yep, there we go. And this is our exit. Let's go. We just got an achievement. Welcome back. We're back in the house now. So I'm guessing we're going to keep going to that red door to activate new, like, events and stuff. We're being welcomed into the house by the entity. Look at that, the witch. I think that was Madison then looking at us. Well, I don't know. It could have been something else, actually. Ooh. Uh, my head. Uh, yeah, it's like we're possessed, isn't it? We need to go to the attic. I don't understand. Oh, my head. All right, let's head up. Let's head up. Open the notebook. Ah, the attic. It, it shows us where we need to go. So the attic is our next destination. The question is, how do we get to the attic? Oh, oh, the attic's just opened. Fair enough. Can we get through it this way? I don't think so. I think we have to go around the other way, but the attic just opened of its own accord. 
I wonder if the entire game takes place in this house. Or if it's going to be like a case where, you know, things gradually kind of move to different locations as we go. I'm also going to check this in case we can put anything on this now. I don't think we can. I keep thinking we're going to have to put something on this plate, but we can't. Right, so the attic is next. Up we go. We've been invited up. Not sure this is uh, the best course of action, but here we go. Oh, creepy. This is huge. We've got numbers. I've never been here before. Pretty big attic, yeah. What is this? Is that grandpa and grandma on the boat? Let's have a look. Can I read it? Age is just a number. You can add or subtract, but at the end of the day, when the time comes, you die anyway. Lovely message. So we've got all these numbers adding and subtracting. I wonder if we have to do that for the code downstairs. Oh, is this where we get to finally use our key item on the clock? Maybe, let's see. No, when do we get to use this thing, man? We still can't use it. We need to put something here. We got anything we can place up here? Not yet. Let's take a picture and see if it gives us a hint. Definitely did something. Ooh. Number 10. Huh. And we've got another one here, so let's see if we can do anything with this. I don't like that creaking sound. And number 13. Okay. Please stop creaking, it's really freaking me out. Oh, we got a key. A key with a heart on it. Interesting. I'll take that. Now let's have a look at this. We're gonna have another code. Or a number, I should say. What's this number? A number 25. And then this one already has a picture on it. Five years old. So that's a five. Albert Maxwell, that's his grandfather when he was five. Let's take a picture. Maybe this is the number we subtract. Because he said adding and subtracting. Oh no, 38. Okay, so that's the number 38. Right, so what are we doing with these numbers? Because we've got all these different numbers, but I'm not sure what they're, like, what they're for. <gasps> but what's this as well? What is this? 43. 43. Man, don't like that. Does anything happen if we just keep looking? Hello, anyone there? Doesn't look like it. We're good, I think. Let's go back. We've got something down here. I don't know what we can uh, do with it. Do we have to place something on here? Oh, it's a floorboard. We need to prize this up with something. For some reason, we can't use the hammer on it, though. I don't think. Okay, guys, I don't know that we can do anything more in this room at the moment. We've got these numbers. I don't know what they're going to be used for, but we can head back downstairs now. So let's see if a heart key actually unlocks anything in the house. Like, we have got some other rooms we haven't been in yet, like Grandpa's room. I don't know if that's going to use the heart key to get in there. The 43 was oh. killed by a three-year-old woman. We saw a woman was killed by a, poli killed a police officer. The 43 oh, police officer. The 43 police officer. Yeah, we know, we know, we know. We just experienced it firsthand. All right, let's see this door. Can we get through it now? No, we still can't get through that. It doesn't even give us an option to unlock it. So I'm gonna try and I guess go to yeah, go to Grandpa's room. Maybe they use the heart key because they were in love. These two. Let's see if we can use the heart key to get through. Hey, that's kind of sweet that they use the little uh, love heart key to get into their room. So now let's see if we can open that. Yes, we can. And that's a very creepy picture of Grandma, though. <laughs> what a mess. Hello, Grandma. The entrance key should be somewhere. The entrance key should be in this room. All right, let's start searching then. Got a book in here. A diary. diary. Let's read it. 
March 22nd, 1972. They say that having a diary is good for the brain. Well, we'll see how this goes for me then. March 29th, 1972. Today we went to a garage sale near the center. I found a book of very good recipes. Johnny came back happy with a book too. He was very excited about it. It was a good day indeed. April 1st, 1972. I woke up in the middle of the night, again. I swear there was something staring at me in the corner of the room. April 3rd, 1972. Today I found all my jewellery scattered around the room and my wedding ring inside the kitchen sink. I asked Johnny what he was looking for, but he swears he didn't touch a thing. April 5th, 1972. We had to bring Johnny to our bed once again. The book we brought him only causes him nightmares. We have to admit that it is a little scary though. April 9th, 1972. All my jewels are out of place again. I cannot find my wedding ring. It was the cutest gift Albert ever gave me. But today Johnny was at home. Sometimes I feel as if there was someone else in the house watching every step I make. Albert tells me not to worry. He might think I'm starting to go crazy. April 10th, 1972. What a relief. I found the ring in Johnny's room. Honestly, I don't know what to think. April 11th, 1972. I didn't get any sleep last night. I could not get that stupid tale of the eyeless monster out of my head. I don't know why we bought him that stupid book. May 7th, 1972. I haven't written for a long time. These weeks I've been from one doctor to another. Something is wrong with my eyes. They don't know what is happening to them. My sight is getting blurrier each day and it hurts a lot. May 22nd, 1972. Doctors say that I've lost more than 40% of my sight these last weeks. I find it hard to read, to write, to watch TV, even think of other things. My pupils are kind of erasing from my eyes. That's why her eyes went so white in those pictures then she went blind. May 23rd, 1972. I'm tired of medications. Nothing seems to help. I cannot stand the pain anymore. Why is this happening to me? It's extremely hard for me to move around the house with my eyes like this. May 28th, 1972. I cannot stand the pain anymore. God help me, please. June 2nd, 1972. I'm really scared. I know there's someone in the house, but nobody believes me. I know it's true. Even though I cannot see it, I feel the presence. There's something living among us. June 3rd, 1972. I know there's someone in the house. I heard noises all night long. I swear I'd heard someone breathing trying to get a glass of water. June 26, 1972. I lost more than 80% of my sight. Doctors say they no longer see any solution. I don't want to be alone in the house anymore. It's not safe here. June 27. My ring is out of place again. But it doesn't matter. Nobody will be able to find it now. I just hid it underneath. Oh, okay, so this is telling us where her ring's going to be. She hid it underneath, so I guess it's in the floorboard in the attic. Because if you remember, there's a floorboard up there, we need to find something to prise that open. Why would he keep all this? Grandma died a long time ago. So these were capsules, one year for treatment, okay. Can we open the drawers? Yes, there's a lot of medication in there. I don't think anybody needs that much. That's about all there is though. This is one of these games you have to be so thorough checking absolutely everything because you can just miss the smallest draw and then you miss something like key. Like what's this? She was so sick. Elizabeth Maxwell. Ah, uh, so this is basically what happened to her cataracts. You know, her eyesight went as we heard in the diary there, guys. Anything in this wardrobe? Let's have a look. Oh, that's locked, okay. What are these things? This is projector film, isn't it? So we'll take that, we might need to put that through a projector later. We can't get into the other side. So we'll just keep exploring. Creepy picture of grandma. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, this is what we needed the item for. So, let's put this in here. We're still missing one. We need one more for this side. And then we can do the puzzle. Hmm. Looks like this slides across, guys, and lets us through into this, like, secret doorway. 
which is boarded up currently, but I think we need to solve a puzzle in here to do that. So we need to find one more of these little symbols, of these little kind of um, circular items to put in here, but I don't know where we'd get it from. So let's go exploring and see if we can work out where to get that final item. That song. Oh, yeah. Where's that song coming from? <gasps> this is open now. What the heck? What? Who opened this it's door? Open now. There's definitely. Okay, this isn't good. This is not good. That statue's moved. I knew that statue would do something. Can I take a picture of it? Are you gonna do anything, statue? Are you just gonna stand there and be uh, statue-like? Nothing. Oh great, it just moves. And it's gone. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh. Okay, we can turn that off. There's the statue up there. What the heck? That's locked by the look of it. Dad's room. Dad's room, okay. We need to get into Dad's room somehow. It doesn't do anything. Wait, where did the statue go? What the heck? The statue's disappeared again. That piano is blocking the front door. Right, the piano is blocking the front door. That's not good. Doesn't matter though. Let's that loop around here. Statue. Yeah, where is that am statue? I, am I going insane? I think we are going a little bit insane, but guys, we have a projector, and if you remember, we have got projector slides. So let's put them in here. Hopefully this gives us some information that we can use. Right, that's a picture of, I don't know, our grandma maybe? Let's see what they uh, hold. There's the statue. Grandma. I thought I just heard something moving in his room. Why is the statue in front of this slide? That's very strange. It's almost like grandma's possessing the statue. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Dad. So that's Dad. Their son. I think that's Johnny was his name, wasn't it? These photos are pretty old. Okay, but are they useful in any way? We're just going through the same ones. Okay, that's all the photos. So, do we have to put an offering onto the statue now? Oh, what the heck? It's flickering, guys. What was, why did it just flicker like that? I don't understand. All right, something's happening. There we go, we took a picture and we get the final, we get the final thing that we needed, the final, um, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a pendant or something. Ah, and it gives us the code as well. Look at that. Brilliant. Yeah, I'll definitely have to put a flashing light warning on this video, by the way. Oh, what is that? We got some kind of clock. Can I use that? No. Huh. It seems like we need to, like get the right sort of combination on these pendants to put in these different clocks. For now, we can't do anything with that clock, but we can go into this room. Grandpa's office. This is Grandpa's office. What is all this? How to contact the dead. All this time, we thought he went mad, but he only wanted to talk to her again. Look at this. Instructions for the silver locket. Do we have the silver locket? It says, light up some candles in the room, turn off every light, use your own blood as a gift of a beyond. Your blood drop must be on the right side of a locket. Close your eyes and say his, her name three times. Repeat until your loved one, uh, loved one's answers. We've got something on here. Rules and others. This item does not bring dead people to life. Use only with loved ones. Be careful, do not contact strangers. And we've got a number there. So this is all to do with this pendant. I don't think we've got the pendant yet. 
going to go and have a look at Grandpa's picture. 33 years old. Pascal Maxwell. I'm carrying too much already. Ah, okay. Yeah, we need that picture, guys, but we've got too much in our inventory. If you need the combination, you know where to find it. And then we've got a 10 there. Huh. Hmm. So we need a combination to this safe. I don't know where we get it exactly. It's got a 10 on the clock hand there. For now, I think we're going to leave that. There's also another safe here. A red safe. But I don't know how we get the combination for that either. Let's go back, guys. We can't carry that picture of Grandpa yet. We need to store some stuff in our inventory. And then come back here. What the heck is that? Wait, what is that? Is there something in here that we need? Do we take a picture of the toilet? I don't know. What just happened? Oh! That was the, um... That was the statue again. Trying to get us. It's cool. Stay away, statue. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go into Grandma and Grandpa's room and we're going to put in both of those pendant things. Whatever they may be. One of those in there. One of those in there. And now we just need to remember the order. So we need to bring up our pictures again. Okay, so this is the order. So we need... The two that are in the middle need to be... Actually on this side like this there we go these two go in the middle like this and then these two go on this side here right now we just gotta line them up correctly so I think these need to be rotated first to like that and then I think these need to be rotated like that Oh, I think it's done. I think it's worked. Yes! We did it, guys. That wasn't actually that hard, but I didn't really get much of an alert that it had worked. It just kind of made a sound. It was like, oh yeah, the door's open now. But we can get through here now with a hammer. Always use the hammer, of course, on these boards to pry them away. And now we've got another picture. I think these pictures were going to hang in the attic, right? Okay. Who is this? This one is Philomena Maxwell. That's a very strange name. Sorry to any uh, Philomenas watching the video. I just find that name a little uh, peculiar. So we've got two of the required... Wait, why is this locked? No. Don't lock us in here. Oh no, the statue's back. What the heck? Do you want an offering of blood? I feel like that statue, I don't know if it's hostile or not. It just follows us around. Oh, look, we got a little uh, hidey hole. The pendant. So Grandpa tried to contact Grandma with this thing? Ah. Is that blood? Yeah, that's like a bloody fingerprint. Right, let's go out. The door's open again. Nice. What the heck? Stop doing that. Stop trolling us. The game is really trolling us right now. Oh. Alright, this isn't good. We've got... Oh my god, what is that? Are you gonna... We come in peace? Come on, man. Or woman. I took a picture of it. I don't know if that was good or bad. It doesn't even come out. It's still there. Man. Is it gonna jump scare us? It's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. What the fuck is happening? That was freaky. That was weird. I don't even know what that thing was, man. I think that's the witch, maybe, Madison. I, I hope that that's what it is. Let's go and get the other picture from down here. No. Stop it. Stop it. 
Alright, let's go. Man, that statue is following us everywhere. I hate it. Into the attic once again. Let's go and hang these pictures up. Maybe if we hang the pictures up, we'll be left with a code that we can then use on that combination lock. Man, I don't like that sound. Right. So. What goes here? This one? That hangs there. Do we have a triangular one yet? No, we don't have a triangular picture yet. We do have the square picture, which can go here. Like that. And we have the circular picture, which can go here. Like that. But we still are missing a triangular picture. Oh, no, the picture's just down here. The shape of this portrait is quite strange. Let's have a look. 56 years old, okay. So let's put this here. We've now got all four portraits hanging. Let's see what the note said again. This is like a hint, I think. It says add or subtract and that's highlighted. Age is just a number. You can add or subtract, but at the end of the day, when the time comes, you die anyway. So we have to add or subtract from the ages to get the age that they died, maybe? I feel like we have to try and get this number that is through, you know, the hole in the wall. We have to try and get that number with each picture, maybe? So what we'd want to do is take the age on the back of a picture. So in this case, it's 68 years old. Then try and find one of these, um, you know, the numbers behind the pictures that we could then add or subtract to get to the number of, was it 46? No, 43. So for example, guys, if we have um, this circular picture, the guy in the circular portrait, Pascal, is 33 years old. If we then hang out on the square shapes point in the wall over here, you can see the square shape there has a number of 10. So if we add 10 to 33, that gives us 43. His number is then 43. So I think the circular picture wants to hang here. I think this is what the puzzle is, basically. That's now should be correct, and that's going to match up with the number through here. We just need to be able to do that with each and every one. It's taken me a long time to work this puzzle out, and I don't know if this is the answer, but let's try it. This one, here, the number on this wall, if we looked at our picture, would be 13. The number on this picture is 56. If we take away 13 from 56, we get 43. So we hang this here. There we go. Now we just got to work out the final two. And that statue is really freaking me out the way it moves around. So I think the one that goes here would be the little boy. And then I think the one that goes here would be this guy. And this should work it out. Has that done anything? Oh, something's happening. Nothing good though. The lights are flickering. Oh. What's happening? Is that raised up? Nope. Can I look through this again? Yeah, look, we've got a new door. <gasps> the door's opening. What the heck? No, I don't like it. What's through the door? What's through the door? Oh, wow. Okay. Did you see that? Because I sure did. We've got a walkway through the open door. Oh god, what are we going to find on the other side? I am not going in there without a light. We need a light, okay. Fine. Oh wow. Did you guys see that? Like the entire like wall was just made from bloody handprints and Polaroid pictures. You can kind of see it there. No, I can't go any further without a light. We need a light source. Guys, I think I'm going to end the first episode here. We've actually got some matches. I think these are matches. Oh no, is this a lighter? Yeah, this is a lighter. 
All right, guys, we've got the lighter, so uh, let's proceed. Here we go. Man, this is not looking good. This is not looking good for Luca or us. Let's keep going. There are handprints on the walls. Very observant, Luca. There are indeed handprints on the walls. We gotta go deeper into this sludge, though. Handprints stopped. They have actually. They have stopped. Another great observation. Oh, let's light it again. No turning back now. We gotta keep going. Onwards. Oh, this is like a maze. This is really, really not looking great for us. I don't know which way to go. It's so dark as well. Imagine being in the dark like this. I would hate this. I don't really love the dark as it is. I also don't like confined spaces. I also don't like how that light's going out, you know? I feel like... Is that something we can pick up? Looks like crow feet or something. I feel like we're going to turn this on in a second and that ghost is going to be just in front of us. I'm going to run. I'm running. I want to get out of here as soon as we can. Ooh. But where to now? We've got two ways. I'm going to go this way this time. This is an absolute maze. Are we meant to be able to like work out where we're going? Because there's no like indications really. But we're going in the right direction, you know? I think this is taking us back the way we've come. Shouldn't have probably doubled back that way. In fact, I'm going to go back, guys. I feel like I'm going back towards the entrance. Oh! I just took a picture. I took a picture, guys. And screw this. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It means the witch is down here with us. It was following us behind. That's creepy. I'm going to keep heading down this way. Keep heading forward, maybe? Or are we just looping? Is this like an infinite loop? No, we're definitely going different ways. Let's try going this way now. To the left. Does the left lean back, though? The left does loop back. Let's try going to the right then. And I don't like this. Now we know something's down here with us. As if there were ever any doubt. The right path is... Yeah, it's not looping back. Or is it? Uh, it might be, actually. Oh, who knows? Who, who can tell? I'm just trying to head deeper into this underground area with each path we take because I imagine that's the sort of objective here <laughs> what the hell does that mean we want to go that way is it leading us maybe I'm gonna follow it I don't know if I should oh I think we're meant to follow it guys I think we're meant to follow it yeah let's keep going yes we're following it to our next destination we finally can see the light at the end of the tunnel, quite literally. Oh! Are we dead? No! I, I gotta get out. Yep, I agree. The handprints are back. We can see the handprints again. Let's go. Oh man, look at all these crucifixes. All these crosses hanging. It's kind of spooky. Let's go, let's go, let's go! I'm out of here! All right, all right, all right. Keep that light on. Anyone behind us? No? Good. Let's mosey. Oh man, are we outside? Yeah, it looks like loads of graves and we're outside. Crows, I can hear crows. Crows I'm not so scared of right now. Demonic witches, yes. A graveyard? How did I get here? I was just asking that question in my own mind. Harvey Cruz. Sarah Costello. DJ Blythe. Okay. We've got a lot of different names on these gravestones, but I don't know if this is part of a puzzle or if it's just 
names of the victims, maybe. Claimed by this witch. It's probably some more over here. Look. Alexis D. Stefano, 95 to 2000 or something. That was a very young death. Guys, I'm just going to try and get out of here. I don't want to look at all of these. We've got Lilith here. I like I like the name Lilith. It's quite an old-fashioned name. But it's kind of a cool name, I always think. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's a weird grave. That's like a pirate's grave or something. <laughs> We've got another pirate grave. I don't think they're actually pirate graves. I'm just going to keep going, guys. Look, we've got out of a graveyard now. It's cool. Everything's fine. Everything's going hunky-dory. Let's just keep moving forward. We don't want to be in this graveyard any longer than we have to. Oh, here we go. We can go down again. St. Jupiter's Cathedral. All right, let's go. Yeah, to be fair, I would not be doing all of this, you know? I would not be, like, seeking a way to uh, find the demon. But I guess he's been told to do that, hasn't he, by the guy on the tape? Oh, no! We're going to be down another well, aren't we? Or perhaps in a crypt this time? Have we got our lights? I'm waking up again. Where are we waking up? <laughs> God, God, how, how did I end up here? Okay, guys, well, I think this is where we're going to end it for part one, then. We've just obviously woken up in this strange cathedral. We've moved from the house to a new location in the cathedral, and I think I'm going to end part one there. It's been quite a long part. We've done quite a lot in the house. This video is going to be really long, but I'm hopefully going to edit it down into something um, a bit shorter than I've been. I've been playing for about two and a half hours, but I know that a lot of that time I've been trying to figure stuff out. So I'll see how this comes together. Hopefully you enjoyed part one of Madison. If you want to see more, then I'll do a part two, but it depends how well this video does, like views wise, obviously. If not that many people are interested, I might leave it here, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. It's down to your support whether this gets a part two. I am enjoying this game so far, but I will say I'm not the biggest fan of like really in-depth puzzle games and this game has some like really like super in-depth puzzles. But if you want to see me continue it some more, I'm definitely enjoying the story and the vibe the game gives off. So yeah, just let me know in the comments below. With that said, if you have enjoyed part one of Madison, remember to leave me a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.